morning, everybody. We're continuing in the Gospel of Mark, who Mark was the writer of the second gospel. And if we remember from yesterday, uh, Mark got most of his information from Peter, uh, who was one of the apostles. Now, um, in the previous reading, we remember that in, in the very first part of Mark, Mark moves very quickly and he covers a lot of ground. And Jesus is baptized by John the Baptist. Um, he's approved by this thunderous voice that comes from the sky. You are my, I love you very much and, and uh, you bring me great joy. And then Jesus goes into the wilderness and, and, and he's tempted by the devil to abandon this mission that, that God has called him to. And of course, he doesn't. He says, there's only one who I will follow, and that is not you, Satan. Now, uh, in verse 16, we pick up uh, uh, today. He's choosing a team of people to do this journey with him for these three years. And he says, one day, as Jesus was walking along the shore of the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew throwing a net into the water, for they fished for a living. Jesus called out to them, Come, follow me, and I will show you how to fish for people. And they left their nets at once and followed him. And in the next couple of verses, we learn, we get basically the same story. He he calls James and John brothers who are also fishermen to to leave his father their father's business. And uh, and and all four of these guys live in the northern part of the Sea of Galilee, and it's in the city of Capernaum. And that's where Jesus seems to make his, his, his home base now. Now, Mark, through Peter, uh, was probably telling us uh, that he wanted to emphasize that Jesus chose fishermen. And uh, what was it about fishermen? Well, uh, it wasn't that they were uh, uh, educated in any sort of way. They were simple, hardworking pe- folks who who were accustomed to long hours and and uh, most likely this was probably not the first time that uh, these four had heard Jesus. Uh, they said yes to Jesus' call and they said yes to his challenge for now I'm going to show you how to fish for, for people. And when we kind of filter through the rest of Mark's gospel, we look at other people that Jesus chose and and uh, we, we, we find out that they came from all sorts of different backgrounds, just like he chooses people from different backgrounds today. Jesus told, chose 12 disciples, and Mark tells us the background of about six of them. Four of them were fishermen, one of them was a tax collector, and one of them was from a member of a, a group of people who were plotting to overthrow Rome, the, the zealots. His name was Simon. And, uh, and then later, uh, we know that Jesus chose the apostle Paul, who was a tent maker, and as were Paul's friends Lydia, uh, excuse me, Priscilla and Aquila, who who worked with Paul, and and then Lydia was a a, a merchant of fine linen. Um, so all throughout the Old Testament and the New Testament, we learn that skills and abilities are not what's most important. God chooses people from all different backgrounds. He's mostly looking for our availability. Will you follow me? And there was a certain sense of sacrifice too that was involved that, that these guys were leaving their family business and, 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 and God is calling us to, to follow him and him alone. And today Jesus, I think, is calling us to be available also. Uh, the whole gospel of Mark is about how, uh, how Jesus spent time with these 12. Uh, he spent time teaching them and honestly, most of the time, they didn't get it right. They, they just didn't get Jesus. They often said and did the wrong things. But we find out about three years later, after Jesus' resurrection uh, from the book of Acts, uh, we, we, we read this account. The, the, the gospel writer Luke wrote these things. He, he says, the members of the council were amazed when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, for they could see that they were ordinary men with no special training in the scriptures. They had also recognized them as men, what? Who had been with Jesus. So let's use these times together as we read in the book of Mark to spend time with with Jesus. He's calling us to be lights in the world and he will use us, but he needs us to be available 
And just like Peter and Andrew and James and John, uh, just make yourself available. And let's hang out with Jesus. Who knows what will happen. Have a great day. If these devotional videos are helpful to you, subscribe to our channel and click the notification button so you know when we post a new video. And of course, please share them with others.